Okay. So you're gonna put your rosin in your left hand. What? Even though you're you're right-handed when you write with your pencil. Mm -hmm. Yep. Rosin goes in the left hand. And look at how my hand is flat. And I have the rosin mostly over my fingers, and my thumb is ready to do something. Okay. Now hold your bow like you're gonna play your violin. Yep. Okay. Put it close to the frog. Now take your left thumb. Gently, like, don't press down firm, okay? So now what you're going to do is with your bow hand, you're going to put pressure and pull it down. Oh, and look, my wrist is bending down. And my thumb is just guiding the bow so it stays on. I'm pulling my bow with my bow hand, and I'm holding it in the left. Now make sure it stays on the track of the rosin. So that's what your thumb does. Your thumb keeps it on the track of the rosin. Yep, you got it, girl. That is the proper way. So now when you have a concert on December 16th at school and you put a little bit of rosin on, you can even do it like pulling up this way. It doesn't have to be like this. So try holding it up in front of you and just pull. You're gonna look totally cool and legit. Yeah, I'll oh, keep the fingers flat, not curled up. And get that thumb to just, yep. Oh, use my wrist, don't use the arm. Yeah, use the wrist, use the wrist. Yeah, I'm using my wrist. Chickens can't fly, right? So if you did this, you got a sleek guy chicken flapping. Use the wrist and go all the way down to the tip. Some people do this. They go, choo, 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 and then they come up, and then they just go up onto the frog a bit. There you go. Now you're a professional rosiner. Nice. Okay. What do you tell her? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I'm the first. I'm for the first fourth grader. I'm first fourth grader, and then it's fifth grade. Oh <gasps> wait, wait. In I'm the orchestra? You're in the first. Oh, uh, I can say it. Chair. <laughs>